Well, hello and good day. How are you beautiful, wonderful people doing on this Valentine's rainy day? That's right, it's Valentine's Day. You go get your mom and your wife some nice Valentine's Day flowers, a nice little card. And you get yourself some chocolate. Now, Warden might get me chocolate. She might. But just in case she doesn't, I wanted to make sure all bases were covered and I got myself some chocolate. This kind of weather in February kind of scares me a tad. It's kind of bringing back memories of 2019 when we got some really nasty floods here in Iowa, South Dakota, and Nebraska. The ground is still frozen solid. There was probably six to eight inches of snow on the ground, and we're expecting to probably about two inches of rain today. That might lead to some flooding. It's already causing the fields to pool up because the water has nowhere to go. It's supposed to freeze back up here tomorrow or the next day we're supposed to go back down into the single digits. Temperature right now is 41 degrees. Now I always get flowers delivered to my lovely wife, always do, every Valentine's Day. Unfortunately, ever since she quit being a normal special ed teacher in a solid one school, and she became a special ed strategist, big word, in multiple schools, it's become almost impossible to do because she has set schools that she has to be in every week, and Sometimes the last minute they change. For instance, the school that she was supposed to be in today, if I would have ordered flowers, is about 60 miles that way. She's 30 miles this way. I have this thing called Life360 on our phones, the family's phones, where we can track everybody. So I am personally going to deliver flowers. The goal is for her not to see me. I slip into the office, I drop them off, and she sees them or gets them there and she wonders well how did he know i'd be at this school Alright, so we've made it to the school that she is at, because that is her Jeep, so 360 didn't let me down. Now, each and every school that she's in, she gets an office. I know where her office is and all the schools she goes to, except for this one. And I'm hoping it's not by the office. 
by the main office when you walk in the door because that two of them it is I'm hoping this one's not are you a little damp yeah you're a little wet but you insisted on the window being down so I had it down for you now my pickup gets to smell like wet dog it's worth it Nice try. How nice is that? Well, thank you, you. I never know what school she's going to be in, so I can't call and say, hey. You've been floating around? You're lucky I'm still in Galva. Usually I'm almost in Holstein by now. Well, we got 360. Oh, I think. Oh. <laughs> okay. Completely busted. Her office is right outside the main office. Completely busted. Darn it. I walked in there and I told the gal, um, there was a gal, that, uh, the secretary met me out by the door because we have locked doors. And uh, I told her, hey, I need to uh, deliver these to Sarah Schmidt. But just don't tell her your husband, de her, her husband delivered them. And she goes, well, do you want to deliver them to her? She's right there. I'm like, no. And then I heard Sarah say, I can hear you. I tried. I really did. All the ladies in the office thought it was really sweet and romantic though, so maybe that's a checkup for me. Darn it, dang it. Well, we got about 30, 42 miles to drive home now. Cause that's where we are, is 42 miles from home. <laughs> oh, mercy. Opie, completely busted. Cute little small downtown here. Uh, this is Galva, Iowa. And there's the downtown, there's the uptown, there's the stop signs. I'm just going to drive around town a little bit. I used to spend a lot of time in this town and they have black squirrels. And that's just so cool. They have black squirrels in this town. I haven't seen any yet, but it's a rainy crappy day. They might not be out running around, but they have black squirrels in your town. That'd be pretty neat. Where's he going? Did you check for cars? Did you check for cars, young man? And yeah, and it's raining, it's really wet. You haven't even went to the bathroom once today. You have to go to the bathroom before we go back inside. I got the air purifier cranked on high back there and I'm trying to clean up the mud on the floor. It's just the fun part about having dogs during rainstorms or winter thaws I guess you could say. You have mud and you have the smell of a wet dog. The fun stuff. My dearest mommy. I love you. Thank you for being the best mom ever. Love. Hmm. I could go with your favorite son. Or I could go with your favorite kid. Or the good kid. That's right, Stacy. I'm the good kid. Let's just go with your son. There you go.
but now for the wife. I love you. You make me the man I am today. Thank you for being in my life. Yep, thank you for being, yeah, that should work. Thank you for being in my life. Love. Hmm, what should I put on here? Your stud, there you go. Love your stud. You guys got to stay here. I do apologize. I really do, but you need to stay here. Yes, I'm going to go get Troy. I'm going to stop over to Grandma and Grandpa, so then I'll be right back. All righty? There's only so much mud the pickup can hold. I'm sorry. You got to go for a couple hour ride today already. That's a pretty good ride, man. Weather like this, you guys usually hang out at the house. Rainy day like this, how was that beautiful locks of love of yours? Um, they're uneven. Uneven? I think, I don't know, this morning they were very uneven. Wow. But I woke up and they were still in wing shape. Really? Yeah. Wow. What did Lisa think of her flowers? She liked them. Okay. Alright. And why is Grandpa sweeping water? Mud. He's getting the mud oh, off the... Why is he letting the dog run? No, I don't know. Rose, you're wet. What are you doing? Cleaning the mud off. <laughs> Down. You're soaking. Hi. Happy Valentine's Day, Mommy. Oh, well, thank you, son. You're welcome, Mommy. I love you. You didn't have to do that. Yes, I did. You're my Mommy. This is what you're supposed to do. I hug my mommy. Oh, I love you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. See, this makes me the good kid. Yes, he's a good kid. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Been giving Troy all this stress about hair, and that's him. Uh oh, that's mm -hmm. me, Dad. Yeah. Now he's got to grow the mutton chops. He did. See? Like that. your Take your hat off. off. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I can see his eyes a little better. I can see Grandpa's eyes a little better. Oh, I had the graduation picture. I had to get it shot. I cut. Oh, okay. Okay. So, pre you, when we started dating, that time I was hangry and knew, oh, honey, and you got me chocolate. I, I actually bought some chocolate just in case you didn't buy me chocolate. <laughs> I told you I had chocolate. You didn't tell me you had chocolate. Yes, I did. I yeah. said I'm just not giving it to you at the first thing in the morning because it won't be here when I'm done. Oh, yeah. No, it won't be here. I'm going to eat some now. Okay. Well, you do that. Okay. I love you. Thank I love you very you too. much. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, it, there's your weeds. No, they're beautiful. I, I know you like wildflowers, but I'm pretty I sure like that's the, a weed. Do you know how many of my teachers were very impressed? Really? Yeah. They love this. And I'm like, you have to walk all the way around to see all the different flowers. Yeah, that's a weed, though. That that's is a not thistle. A weed. That's a thistle. No, it's not. It's a thistle. Um, Ooh, can I eat these? But I was, no. So pay all right, my mouth is already full of chocolate. Me and this lovely wife, we're going up to Sioux City out to eat tonight, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. I got to stay awake. I made the reservation for 7 o'clock instead of 6 o'clock. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That's it. Stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.